Good morning lovelies, Zoe 2 with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you and today we're starting the day a little bit earlier than I expected to because we have got shiny Azelf. Like I would say first raid but I'm pretty sure I've done one, one other Azelf raid. I need to like double check and like go on, you know, all that kind of jazz. I've done like basically no raids. I haven't even been out to do my own Uxy raid yet. It's Thursday. I kind of missed raid hour last night. So I didn't get a chance to host up any raids for anyone. So I'm sorry about that to the Patreon squad and all that jazz. We have still got some more time with these ones in raids though, I'm pretty sure. But I honestly, I saw a lot of people like screenshotting and like sharing like, oh my God, shiny on the first raid. And I was like, yeah, you're just lucky. Um, is the shiny rate for these guys better than normal? I, I, no speculation. I, I've seen like literally nothing to back that up. Um, just a lot of people getting the shiny. I don't know if everyone's just raiding like mad madmen, but there's that. Thank you, thank you so much as well to um, to Wildcat Mum, uh, one of the lovely AR photographers in our community for the raid invite. I appreciate it. Thank you for my shiny, you're a champion. Just to like show you guys as well, yes, I've done one um, one Azelf, uh, what, on the 15th? Today is now the 16th, yes, I did one, one Azelf yesterday, um, and then this, like the last one was what? Uh, Go Fest. Go fest with the Uxi, so not bad. 50 50 percent ratio at the moment. I sadly haven't seen any Uxi around me every time I've checked into the game, so I'm gonna go out. I've got. I've been saying this for like years at this point. Uh, premium battle pass. So the premium raid passes. I stocked up on like those. There was a Christmas 2019 Christmas sale box. I stocked up on those bad boys because there was like 40 billion raid passes per box. Um, I stocked up and I was like, this is going to last me through like all the safari zones and when we're traveling around America and Europe. So this is still, this is still passes from that. All through like last year and stuff, like none of the boxes that I bought were like raid pass ones. They were like always the incubator ones. That's kind of my jam. So this is just whatever I've gotten from research tasks or from, you know, that sort of thing. And those 2019 bundles. <laughs> so... I'm gonna go out, host out some Uxie raids for people. Use my free pass. I'll have one from yesterday and from today, I think, for the free raid passes. And if we're lucky, maybe get uh, an invite or two to a Mesprit raid. I've got no remote passes at the moment. So I used my um, last week's free one and then this week's free one on the Azolf, I believe. Those two Azolf. And I'll probably... So these are my coins from Jim Defending, which has been a little bit tricky to do with like lockdown stuff, but we're gonna go out. I'm gonna go be safe and raid responsibly. Uh, and hopefully we can go chuck myself in a couple of gyms so we can get kicked out and get some coins. Let's check the sork. That is a chunky sork. 2059. Uh, check the quill fish as well. All right, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna like not touch the Natu. I don't need to, I'm not gonna bring that into my, we're not gonna, we're not gonna bring that energy into our day. We've also got a bunch of stuff to catch up and talk about for Fru Fru and for the Fashion Week event and all that kind of jazz. So let's get out. Let's go find some Uxie raids. Well, I sadly just realized that I've got coffee stains on my bow. Make that make sense. But um, we're going bowless today. Feels a bit, feels a bit weird. Anyway, first Uxie check of the day, and that is a no. Uxie is such a thick little unit. It's genuinely like the, it's the harder one to defeat. It's got like the higher defense. Um, whereas like Azelf, I think you can duo Azelf or trio it uh, if you know, we've got the optimal conditions. But um, Uxie's a bit of a pest. We've got the clouds coming in as well. It's a bit of a gray, looking like a bit of a grayish day. Hopefully it doesn't start raining just, just yet. You know, let us get a couple of rain. Yeah. I, need, I should actually try and throw a well for this thing to try and catch it. Maybe try and sneak a couple of raids in before the rain kicks in. I need both hands for this. Give me a sec. And it's raining. So, <laughs> uh, let us, I think I've got, ooh, do I save? See, here's the thing. Do I save the remote passes from, I think I need to be smart and conserve my remote passes for, Mesprit, I'm sorry and thank you to all the lovelies in the states that are inviting me to these raids, but I think I'm gonna have to try and make the... Oh, I mean once I get to the Mesprit, I wouldn't mind doing a few more just to kind of like get some decent IVs and stuff. I managed to chuck myself in a couple of gyms along here, so that's good. I've got a quest here as well for Purify 3 Shadow Pokemon. I haven't actually checked this week's 
Ditto. So, drum roll. And let's chat about the uh, Fashion Week event that's coming up. Stardust, some balls, and... And, 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 the mysterious vanilla ditto. Welcome, friend. I got notes. I write things down. It's easier to have this many words than the literal paragraphs that we get in the Niantic updates. So a few things are f f f f f f forms. Forms are coming to Pokemon Go with Frufru. I guess they figured they didn't want to just stick um, Frufru in the wild as like 10 different I fashion styles. I, get, I don't know. It's, it's interesting because like things like cast form. Cast form is technically one Pokemon that transforms to its different forms uh, with the weather. So like you'd have your one regular cast form and then if the sun comes out it should in you know the canon of the world turn into sunny cast form. But that doesn't happen in Pokemon Go. They never really implemented that way. They just have it spawn as sunny or rainy or, you know, regular. The interesting thing with Frufu, I guess, is that it is quite physically being styled. Like the whole thing was taking it to the boutique and getting its hair done. So it's like a haircut, which it's still counted as a form, but it's it's really different. How it, like it doesn't physically change who it is, I guess. I don't know, but we're getting uh, a form transformation option. Um, I'm curious to see if they're gonna back roll that for things like cast form, probably not i who knows who knows and things like you know hooper hooper has different forms the bound like unbound and bound hooper confined hooper claustrophobia hooper i don't recall the exact names for them you know um you know zonius when it's got its activated almonds and it lights up versus zonius when it's just you know in its regular state a bunch of stuff have you know different forms so i'm curious to see if that kind of you know, gets implemented like going forward or grandfathered in for existing Pokemon. But at this stage, it's only talking about um, the Fru Fru. Check this uh, regular slow. Also, I'm just struggling to find any Uxie raids around me. Apparently, they're all either done or hatching in an hour. So, such is my life. <laughs> Additionally, with the Fru Fru and its different forms, they're going to be essentially new regionals. Uh, and when I, say, when I say essentially, I mean literally. We're gonna have natural frou-frou spawning globally, matron and dandy available worldwide through form change. So you gotta catch a regular one and then form change it. You can get these wherever you are in the world. For the Americas, we're gonna have the debutante. All the rest of these, by the way, are like form change. You have to like physically change the form uh, from this, the natural vanilla mullet frou-frou. A diamond will be available for Europe, Middle East and Africa. Star form for Asia and Pacific. The Lorraine form will be available in France, which very on brand. The Kabuki form change will be a Japan exclusive. Uh, the Pharaoh will be available in Egypt. And the Heart form is like a stay tuned. I don't know if that's something they're going to like, I mean, I don't know. They're going to hold that until Valentine's Day. I don't know, but I guess stay tuned. Maybe there'll be like a friendship event or something, or I don't know. We'll see. We're going to be getting new costume Pokemon in Butterfree, uh, Sneasel, and Blitzel, as well as last year's costume Pokemon reappearing. So the Smoochum with the bow, Curlia with the top hat, Shinx with the top hat, and Brogunk. The Butterfree is adorable. It's got the bow. I love seeing bow representation in this game. I, I hate seeing lack of bow representation on my head right now. So I'm going to be hunting for Butterfree, absolutely. Blitzel's kind of cute. It's got this little like snazzy collar. Uh, and then Sneasel looks like it's about to drop the most fierce slam poetry of the year. It's little specks and beanie. It's coming in like ice. Slashing with moves that ain't nice. Thrice. You know, I, I feel like there's there's some deep rooted emotions that Sneasel's gonna get out through um through wordplay. We're gonna have special research. There's gonna be Meloetta in special research. If you've already got Meloetta from GoFest, you're gonna get candy for it instead of an encounter. There's gonna be fashionable trainers at Pokestops. So I feel like um, this is probably gonna be like what they did for, was it Kanto event? You could battle just like other trainers at Pokestops that had submitted their team sort of thing. So not, uh, you know, go rocket grunts. It'll be trainers, I guess. It's kind of cool. I'm curious what the encounters will be from that. We have timed research. There's going to be some sort of frou-frou wig avatar item available. They've said there's going to be some Fashion Week avatar items. We haven't seen what that is yet, unless it's Dardle Mind, in which case I'll put that on here. Hooper bangles as well for, you know, our avatar. Uh, additionally, at some or all, some a selection of avatar items will be on sale. So, you know, save some coins, I guess. Seven kilometer eggs are going to have Alolan Meowth, Galarian Meowth, Smoochum, and Shinx. The Smoochum and the Shinx with their hats or, you know, costumes. A really tight egg pool, like literally four Pokemon, uh, all of which, yeah, all of which can be shiny. Nice. I like a very constrained egg pool. Curious to see what the rates are for all of them, if it's going to be an even chance for all, but I, I like that that's just pretty direct. And it makes it pretty clear if there's something in there that you want, go for it. If there's something in there that you just 
you don't want any of it, then you can just kind of skip it. You're not like hunting for the Riolu that's like a 1% chance sort of thing. Additionally, Blitzel is going to be making its shiny debut uh, in costume and then it'll be available without costume after the event ends. And look like a little bit more on the form change mechanic. Basically, once you catch your Furufuru, -furu, get enough candies and that sort of thing, uh, kind of like on the little bottom like menu button once you've tapped on your Furufuru, -furu, there'll be a change form button. Um, you can pick different trims, which is what the forms are, they're trims. And it's going to cost 25 candy uh, and 10,000 Stardust. No issue, I guess, on the candy. I don't know your thoughts on the Stardust. Basically, you have to catch 100 Pokemon's worth of Stardust for that. It's not, you know, obscene, I guess, as a Stardust cost. But I guess depending on if this is rolled forward for future Pokemon, you know, if I had to form change my Hooper and I needed 25 candy plus the Stardust, the issue would more be the candy. Because, like, how do we get more candy for these certain Pokemon besides spending your rare candy, potentially? Like, you know, and then having to spend, I would assume, spend to go back and forth. Um, I don't know if it's a thing that where it's unlocked, you can kind of, like, unlimited swap between them. or have to spend it every time. I don't, I don't know. So I'm really curious about the longevity of that um, function, like, the, the cost for that function. But we'll see. Thoughts, feelings, let me know in the comments. Uh, Shiny Blitzel. It's pretty mild. It's fine, but it's not like the most like loud, um, crazy, noticeable, shiny change for sure. Personally, I'm going to be hunting for the Butterfree because it can be shiny. I'm fairly certain that can be found as a shiny Butterfree and it's got a bow. So, I mean, look, fingers crossed it is in research as well, besides just raids. It's not in eggs. <laughs> you know, last year was awesome. Like the hundreds i was like roaming the countryside doing hundreds of smoochum smoochum research um i you know i did give that feedback to niantic as well that you know lately in the recent events there hasn't seemed to be many uh exciting or incentivized you know just basic field research tasks even in like the psychic spectacular it was like evolve an inke to get an to get an inke but like i spun hundreds of stops only found one of those quests like it's not really you know and even just the other quests for psychic types, you know, it's rewarding the ones that are already kind of like spawning en masse in the wild anyway, not the harder to find ones. So I really hope that they take that feedback for having all of the costume Pokemon in research and available in research, because it's like, that's going to get people exploring. Like I will walk up 1000 miles to do as many research as I can, as opposed to just like jumping in a ton of raids for a Butterfree. So, we'll see. I'm gonna go try and find, speaking of raids, <laughs> try and find some more Uxie raids, oh my lord. Okay, so here's the thing. Would you believe that I couldn't find another, yeah, Uxie raid for the rest of the day? And I refuse to spend a remote pass on something that's like, could be down the road. Yeah. So, it is Friday now. But, allegedly, some of the Euro squad is going to be trying to send me some raids this evening, my evening, for Mesprit. So, thank you already to you guys. I appreciate it. I think the Uxie is just going to have to wait for another day, I guess, because I can't force there to be raids when everything that's spawning is just three star raids. So, We'll see if we can get the set, no stress if not, Mesprit will be tonight. Also, as is tradition at this point, managed to snag a shiny when I'm not filming. But we can actually finish like the evolution family uh, and evolve one of these. I think I traded Brett for a lucky one of these back on like Kanto day. So we can evolve one of the Spearow. Nice. Glad to see I can't break the streak of like <laughs> getting a shiny while I'm filming. Thank you, Somber Mink, for the raid invite for the Meepy, the Mespreepy. Friends! Friendship, Cine, can you do a ch shiny check for me? Can you just... Can you, can you tap that? On the green? You, I mean, you probably do know what green is, but like... Brilliant, can you... Can you be? No? I'm on my own in this. Wish us shiny luck. Three, two, one. No. No. But I have got um, a bunch of gym coins done. I chucked myself in a couple of gyms yesterday, so we should have enough to kind of 
I mean, plus they're here for a while. Plus I have all the ones to use on Yuxi. If they ever decide to spawn. Nearby. Anyway, keep my eyes out for the Europe raids. Thank you, Europe squad. God, William looks so angry. It's because he didn't, he didn't get his consent to film. Oh, he signed in, he signed the waiver. Did you? Oh, for five! <laughs> <laughs> so I just hit that button up there. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's the one. Oh, oh, for five, my God. You're lucky that raid hasn't timed out. Good <laughs> Actually quit on it. <laughs> silver planet? Oh, uh, silver or regular is fine. Good Lord. You want to see some pro, pro strats here? Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> one oxy rag down, one shiny. <laughs> <laughs> you should name it Uxi Kaliakitos. I will. That's like, that's the Kanto quest, yeah? Mm. Yeah, from Kanto Day at the start of the year. Yeah. Yeah. What's the, what's the one thing you're missing? Right, um, how many times have you... Got to like 20 days yeah. out of 30? Heaps. Nice. Can you just tell the professor... Can you just set an alarm to catch some Pokemon? You could, but could you also tell the professor that you don't give a sh about 50 Ultra Balls and just to move on to the next thing? I'll let him know. Okay. Because, like, no one cares. Oh, look out. Show off. Carsten, thank you, thank you, thank you for the raid invite. Let us forget that that's not the right button. Let us check. Last raid for me for the afternoon. Not shiny. That's okay. That's okay. I think that's going to be it for today's little raid sesh. Um, going, like definitely going to try to get some Yuxi in over the. I mean, it's here for they're here for a while. Uh, over the weekend slash next week plus we'll have raid hour next week as well so there's more chances there and oshawott com day this sunday uh, i'll more than likely be streaming it whether that be you know on the go i might be able to like squeeze in a bit of an on the go stream to get some walking in and all that kind of jazz uh, and then possibly just streaming the rest from home so anything that's on the go will be here on youtube so make sure you're subscribed hit the bell for uh, notifications and all that jazz and if we're doing any from at home streams I'll be doing that over on Twitch, so twitch.tv forward slash Zoe Two Dots. Zoe Two Dots on like all the socials if you need to find me on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I've made a TikTok and I just consume a lot of content and don't make much on there, but we've got one. You got options for finding me on uh, on the socials. Let's see, praise this one. Uh, not bad. Nice little German Mesprit. Dankeschön, Mesprit. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you to all the uh, Patreon eggies as well for sending me invites. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it. Oh, I forgot as well. I actually I had to run out to get like I forgot. I always like, I always forget one thing. The one thing from the grocery. So I had to run out to go get. Can you? That's a ditto. I bet you. That's a ditto that fled. Uh, I did have to go plus one for a little bit today, and I haven't actually checked in. So we did a bunch of Mesprit raids, and I don't think there should be any other shinies besides the Spiro from yesterday. Yeah. Spiro. So we got our sweet little Azelf and Spiro, which is, I'm stoked with that. I feel like we're back on the board after having a pretty shiny drought, like the double Wobbuffet the other day. That was awesome. I'm ignoring the Krabby and the Roselia. They don't exist. Um, and then like the last thing before that was Eevee Com Day. So it's been a second considering Com Day is like in two days to, or tomorrow, depending when you watch this. So we're back on the board. Back on the board for the shiny vibes. 
Pokemon Go uh, also dropped this really, really sweet little like fifth anniversary kind of hype video. I might talk about that a little bit more in like uh, in tomorrow, like in the Com Day video or something. But that's just like, oh, it's like put me in like a, a happy but sad, but happy but sad mood. It's really, really cute. I'll link to it down below as well if you haven't checked it out. Um, but just like one of those, like, oh, I'll be back out there with everyone. So not long, hopefully soon, sooner than later. So yeah. Let me know in the comments down below, how have you guys been going for your Azel Fuxi Mesprit raids? Do you care? Do you not care? Are you shiny hunting and grinding your buns off? Are you just chucking a free pass every now and then? What is your vibe? Have you been lucky? Are you taking it easy? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, lovelies, thank you so, so much for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch are in the description down below. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.